Let's take a look at Northern Lights hole four. If you look up in the sky real quick, you'll see the train heading over to hole eight along with the Northern Lights. And, uh, and let's start out with a fun shot on this one. Uh, let's check this out, something different. So let's take our light glide rive. Let's wait till the train goes by. We're gonna toss it up on the top of this trestle. Get a nice view of the island and the basket down below. Take the accurate extra glide explorer. Boom, toss it in for the eagle. So obviously not your standard play. So there are a couple of uh, approaches to this hole. I think it's well designed as far as the risk reward. Uh, options uh first one i guess is the you can drive this far shoreline uh, next to the basket there's a little pocket if you will in the land here that uh, you can sometimes get a disc to stick in but it, it will oftentimes roll down into the ob water also uh, and the look from there is not great so I don't know that it's a huge advantage uh, for the risk involved. And I just personally wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I think the better play is to play to the center island here. Uh, and ideally you want to get down to where that drop zone is. But, uh, but that's a little risky shot. So let's talk first about if you just want to play for a birdie, a safe birdie, then you can take something like a musket and just play to the front part of this island. And we're not trying to get a whole lot of distance here. We're just trying to land safely on the island, okay? Uh, and that's fine. I'm on the island, <laughs> no OB. Uh, so I have a look at the basket, actually. Uh, I could take something like the sapphire uh, and run it up there. But it is a little obstructed. There's some trees to my right that are cutting off the hyzer line. Um, and it's a little bit longer distance, but I can, you know, get the birdie there. Now the uh, look for eagle comes with the risk. This is where you have to decide is it worth it or not. Uh, you can take uh, the Acrid Extra Glide Sapphire and you can get closer but this will probably not uh, give me an eagle look, but let's take a look at it and see how far I can get. Yeah, see it's just short, right behind that tree. So I, you know, I could get something up there, but it's obstructed. So really to get the eagle look, I think you need the glide roll rye on the forehand. And this is where it becomes tricky because Obviously, if it can reach that uh, area where the drop zone is, it can also easily fly off the island. So let's see with the two wind out of the right, about right here, I guess. Let's see if this works. Might be good. It's close. Okay, so it's I, I don't have an unobstructed look. I would like to have had a little bit further distance because I, I do have this first tree, which is not a big issue, but kind of blends in with the snow. There's a white tree, white snow covered tree um, that's right here is blocking my view of the basket. So uh, let's take the sapphire and see if we can make a run here. But I don't think I have a real shot at it. See, well, I might have actually. Um, so, yeah, it, you know, that's the the play anyway. Let's see if I can get a little better. Yep. So, as it turns out, I did have a shot at it. Just didn't execute well. But uh, so, yeah, uh, in my experience for the eagle look. Uh, Accurate glide sapphire in a favorable wind, glide roll in an unfavorable wind. All right, uh, that was it. Hope you learned something. 
We'll see you around the valley.